winning a state title, no matter what the sport, is a focal point of a high school athlete's career. For one South Central wrestler, he's not only a North Carolina state champion, but the first ever wrestling state finalist in Falcon history. The whole season, I really, that was my goal, was to be a state champ. This is George Aino, the guy with the gold. He's definitely a leader. He was one of our captains this year. He, um, he really impressed me with how much he worked, how much work he was putting, especially for, I mean, heavyweights, you know, it's kind of hard to move all that weight around. He put South Central on the map, I feel like. And then the school, I mean, for him putting the school on the map as wrestling, it was kind of big. Aino wrestled in the NCHSAA 4A heavyweight finals on February 22nd, and his eyes locked on one thing, the top of the podium. I've seen it coming out the last season. After he went all the way to states and took six in the state with no shot. All he did was the typical heavyweight move, snap down, go behind. He and um, I told him at the states that if he developed a shot, he'd be state champ. Midway through Georgia's senior campaign, something changed. He broke out into the athlete his coaches always believed was inside of him, and it came during his 100th career win. Um, I wouldn't. I actually missed him the tournament that it happened at. My assistant coach was there, and he lost a match to a guy that he pinned earlier this year. I got a. Um, one of the boys were calling me, and they were like, "Yo, coach, George just hit a blast," and I was just like, "What do you mean?" They were like, "He just hit a blast double." And then I was, George ain't shooting no shot. And they were like, yeah, he is. And then, like, ever since then, he's developed this takedown um, that he just always not – He I think he believes in it, so he shoots it now. And that changes the game for sure. From that match on, George was on fire and his mental game top notch. He told me that um, he was going to win a state title. And I think it was, like, him believing – it him himself and always saying it all the time, every like almost every day. Like, he knew he was gonna be a state champ. It started off with really getting my mindset right. Once I got my mindset right, you know, you just had to make sure that I worked on the things that I needed to work on on that. So I worked on things like things that I was worse on last year. I worked on them more this year, and it got and perfected those things. Aino won both his semifinal and final matches in style, recording not one, but two pins over both of his opponents. We were, on our, we were out of our seats the whole time during the whole match. It was a rush of excitement, really, and um, it was just hard to believe at the moment. All the work that I put in uh, during the seat and during that practice and stuff, it, it just really meant a lot because I really worked hard for this. Oh, yeah, it was definitely emotional, you know. We saw him tearing up, so we started tearing up. It's just, I mean, it's a big achievement. You know. He credits much of his success to his coaches. It really helped me. Um, they pushed me. They motivated me. And um, they really just cared about me a lot more than any of the coaches that came to wrestle, uh, help coach me in wrestling before. Mm -hmm. And um, I never really had coaches like this that really wanted to, uh, wanted the best for me like these, like these guys right here. I just want to say thank you to my coaches. And I wish the best for them in the program for the next few years, how long, however long they plan to stay here. As for the future of the wrestling program, well, South Central is just getting started. I feel like next two years will be our best. Um, it's the best is yet to come. Because I just appreciate the program for letting me coach. And um, just I think that yeah, next year is going to be a good year for us as well. I got a lot of young kids that have got a lot of potential that um, I think you're going to open a lot of eyes for sure. For 90 Your Side Sports, I'm Kelsey O'Donnell.